Hello everybody and welcome back to Battletech where we are working for the Red Duke, Duke Recall, and we are fighting against the Grey Death Legion. This uh this is going to go great. The Grey Death Legion never beats Duke Recall ever. <laughs> okay. So fortunately we are not Duke Recall and uh they land over here, their vanguard does anyway. So we're going to immediately send our Atlas into cover over here with the King Crab. And we're going to have the Bull Shark and the Missile Boat King Crab be over here. Now I am noticing there's a lot of turret emplacements with no turrets here. Did the Duke cheap out on us? I feel like he did. Yeah, we've got a contact over here. Make that two. That's a thunderbolt. Okay. And a shadow hawk. Okay. He parked in radiation. Oof. Well, our bonus is to keep all target structures standing, but we may not have a chance to do that. That's a catapult. It's dead. Rip bonus. One of our structures has been eliminated. Never even had an opportunity. Okay, now it's our turn to move, though. And to that end, this Shadowhawk is looking pretty dead to me. Let's see here. We could go up over here. It's kind of behind this cover. Alternately, we could step forward like this. I mean, this is an atlas, and we have fire support backing it up. Heading out. We can probably kill the Shadowhawk right now. Old weapon. Go. Very close to it. Taken a critical hit. 9 HP there. Okay. Standing and then by. the King Crab doesn't have LOS past the Atlas, unfortunately. So the King Crab would have to step forward out over here alternately. What's up, boss? We could move the Bull Shark forward. Move order received. Like so. Now the Bull Shark only has LOS on the Shadowhawk. That's fine. We can drop a Thumber here. Unfortunately, the Catapult isn't quite in range, so we'll just drop it here. This should finish off the Shadowhawk. Fire down range. As well as doing a sizable chunk of damage to the Thunderbolt. Very nice. Commander. And now our Missile Boat King Crab can step forward. Moving to position. And we could attack the Catapult, in theory. Or we could attack the Thunderbolt. Hmm. Hundred and or two hundred and nineteen versus two hundred and fifteen. It's about identical. This guy's braced though. Our hit odds are not great on either. They're in fact exactly the same. So because this guy is braced, I think we're best off to attack the catapult. That's where we're going to get the most damage done. Not amazing damage, but it was okay. I'll take it. We're going to put the King Crab in the rough terrain. Order acknowledged. In the hopes that it draws fire. Let's see, 60% versus 70%, but that is braced. The King Crab could potentially one-shot the Catapult, but the damage reduction from the Thunderbolt, I'm not sure that we could one-shot the Thunderbolt. It would be close. So we're going to go for the Cat. Roger that. That wasn't great. 24 HP left there, though. So we can finish that off pretty easily. I'm hoping that they'll start attacking our assaults, though. Yeah. Like that. That was ideal. 
Okay, they have another mech down over here, a Thunderbolt. Roger that. Okay. They went for the King Crab. That's perfect. So we're going to put our fire support down on this mech. We are going to send Commander? the King Crab up over here an angle like this. Jimbia doesn't have multi-target. We're going to take the Atlas over here and angle like this. <laughs> the Atlas is now going to multi-target A, B. We're going to fire everything we can at B. Except the LB-10X. The LB-10X is going to go at A. These medium lasers at B. All we need is one medium laser in there. Well, it is at technically in cover, so we would need two medium lasers in the CT. Okay, that Thunderbolt took heavy armor damage there. Oof. <laughs> that was highly unfortunate. Got something you want done? Yep. Bull Shark is going to step forward here. Copy that. And the job of the Bull Shark right now is to multi target A, B. We're going to fire two large lasers at the catapult and hope for the kill. And then we're going to fire the Gauss and the large laser at the Thunderbolt. Firing on multiple enemies. There we go. Perfect. And that Thunderbolt definitely took some heavy internal damage there. Yes, Commander. Now the King Crab is going to come up over here, and it's going to split its fire as well. A, B. Now this is an overheat warning, so we're going to avoid firing this large laser, and we are going to just do this. Multi attack is go. Okay, excellent. Evasion reduction. Very nice. I'm here. King Crab now steps forward. Moving out. And finishes the Thunderbolt. Now this is gonna be some heat issues. We're gonna not fire our medium lasers or a small pulse, or most of our small lasers. I do want to fire both AC-20s here, though. Hmm. That was not ideal. That hit something good. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. We'll look into that after this turn. Okay, they're firing on our missile boat, King Crab. It can take it for now. Reporting minor damage. And what does this Thunderbolt do? Ooh, they have an LOS over there. This guy's scouting it. This is a really bad position that the Duke has put us in. Like, why would you build a base here? I don't understand. That was surprisingly poor shooting against the bull shark there, though. And the ace pilots on over. Okay. Our turn. Not quite. Five must survive, six remain. Oh, wow. Okay. We need to wrap this up over here, then. I'm receiving you. Ready for orders. The Atlas is going to come over here. Roger. And we're going to multi-target here. Now, we can't fire everything, so we're going to avoid firing three medium lasers. SRMs are going to be at this Thunderbolt. LB-10X is going to be at this Thunderbolt, this SRM, these small lasers, and this medium at this Thunderbolt. Multiple enemies locked in. Okay, LRM ammo explosion. Good. Okay. Waiting for orders. Now we can take the King Crab over here. All right. And we can fire 
Just a single AC-20? Disgusting. We can also fire a medium laser, I guess. That's a torso destruction, so it's a pilot injury. Reporting critical hit. Order. We're gonna take the king crab off over this way. Like, we're not even in sensor range of these guys yet. So, it was just because of their scouting that they were able to attack these buildings. Okay. Commander. The bull shark is going to need to back off a little bit. We're going to precision and strike it again. We need this thunderbolt dead. Acknowledged. And it did die. Okay, good. Target neutralized. So that'll give us a turn. Never mind. It will not give us a turn. No retreat. Well, these are mediums. It's a shadow hawk there. It's going to fire on a building. Yep. It didn't destroy the building. That's another medium. Oof. It's getting very close. Okay. Our turn. First go. things first. I'm going to move the bull shark over here. What do we got for thumper range? Just there? We're not going to fire that. Go for the kill on that shadow hawk. Roger. That was ideal. Mech destroyed. Okay. Waiting for now we're gonna step forward with the king crab. There's no cover over here, sadly. So the king crab is gonna take some damage. That's I think unavoidable. This is a black knight and a wolverine. The black knight is the larger threat there. We can't fire our large lasers. And we're going to have to just sprint our juggernauts over that way and sink heat. Standing by. Quick, it? We're probably going to lose another building here. Let's go. Let's go. Unless they attack our mech. He is. It's ideal. He's going to really build up a lot of heat from that attack. Wolverine steps forward and attacks a fresh building. Okay. That could have been far worse. This is a Jaeger. Yikes. Only one building left. Which means we have to kill a lot of them this round. Okay. Receiving you. Bull Shark, step forward. Thumper is our only chance here. Right? Thumper does 10 to 50 damage per location. Yeah, it's our only chance. Fire down range. Okay. Not ideal, but it'll have to do. I'm receiving you. King Crab, up to here. Copy that, Commander. And we need to precision strike this guy. Right in that CT. Roger. Oh, he took out his AC-5. That was certainly not ideal, though. We did not hit that CT. Waiting for orders. Atlas is going to come up here. On my way. We need to... We have to hit the Wolverine, sadly. We don't have an option there. Okay, that's a torso destruction. 
But if I recall correctly, there's a building left that only has like six hit points. And we can't let it die. Yeah, this one here. If they target this one, we're kind of screwed. Yes, Commander. So that means that we have to put our King Crab like right in the way of it, like this. Confirmed. And we're going to multi-target like this. Now this would overheat us. We're going to not fire that LRM-20. We're going to fire hmm, like this. I think we have to. And we just hope that they don't go for that building. No pilot incapacitation there. What building do they go for? Oh, the King Crab. What does a Jaeger do here? That's the big question. The Wolverine gets up. It all comes down to next move. Fires on the Atlas. That's fine. If they attack this building with the Jaeger, we lose. If they don't, we win. They attacked the Atlas. That was too much of a dice roll for my tastes. But that's GG. King Crab can now close in. Location confirmed. And the Wolverine here, all it has left is a medium laser. The Black Knight is definitely the kill priority. We can fire one AC-20 at it and one medium laser. It's not ideal. But it's fine. The Bull Shark, we are going to multi-target with. Wolverine? Black Knight. Gausses at the Black Knight. Two large lasers at the Black Knight. One large laser at the Wolverine. I copy. I was really hoping for a CT hit there. But actually that wouldn't have killed it. Okay, that Black Knight is definitely taking a lot of damage. This King Crab can go ahead and multi-target. Can we fire all three of our LRMs this round? We can. We'll fire the LRM-10 at the Wolverine. And then we'll split the LRM-20s up like this. Although we should probably back off because we're hitting minimum range here with the Black Knight. So we'll do this. A, B, C. A, B, C. AC-5 ammo explosion. And a head hit. 13 HP left there. Okay. We did not do as much as I was hoping for on that Black Knight. The Jaeger lost half of its weaponry. That Black Knight is definitely the threat currently. So we're going to have to come forward. I really want this Black Knight dead. Okay, Black Knight is dead. Do they have enough to kill this building this turn? Not if they fire on our assaults. Okay, we're good. And actually, they did have enough. They stray shotted this large building. That's okay. They are guaranteed dead this round. Okay. 100% guaranteed. So I'm going to move the Atlas forward like this. Position confirmed. We're going to multi-target A, B. We're going to not fire our medium lasers at all, or two of our medium lasers anyway. We're going to fire our small lasers only at the Jaeger, I guess. And then we'll fire our SRMs at the Wolverine. Yeah, this should this should do the trick. Splitting target. 16 HP left there. Yeah, 
They are definitely dead. Waiting for orders. I. And there we go. Now we hope there isn't another lance. Fantastic. Mission successful. That was way closer than I like. Two turns in a row, it all came down to the AI making a poor decision. But I guess we'll take it. No injuries, no internal damage. Ultimately, it was fine. We'll take a Black Knight. And I guess a Wolverine and an AC5++. That'll be good. So are we going to get a consecutive deployment immediately? Maybe. We'll see. If it loads. There we go. Excellent. Okay, yep, this is a consecutive deployment. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode we will do this battle in, Mar in a Martian biome, and that'll be just fine. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.